Hey everybody, this is Missy Hyatt, and this is Beauty Over Time, and <clears throat> coming to you with absolutely no makeup on. Um, I uh, got up this morning, I always wash my face at night and moisturize, and in the morning I don't wash my face, I just re-moisturize, um, no regimen, uh, which you don't need to strip your face of natural oils and everything that's good for you. Um, but today, I'm going to be talking about Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This is what it looks like. And I'm doing color... Oh, it just, oh 415. I don't know how they come up with numbers. I don't know if they just sit around and go, oh, we'll call it 07. Or, I know when they do the, like neutrals and... Um, uh, or the, the different, you know, the different shades or whatever. I always just go with neutral because I don't know what I am. Now, this looks a little dark for me. If you see it, it looks a little dark for me. But we're going to try it. I'm going to use my Sephora Liquid Makeup Brush because it's my favorite. If you see, it's got, like, the little ridges and it's got, like, a little hole. And um, I just love the way it goes on. I, I don't like putting it on with my fingers because then I feel dirty and you know, wash your hands and everything, which I wash my hands after putting makeup on anyway, but um, this comes out, it's not really thick. Um, yep, it's a little too dark for me, but that'll be okay. I'm just going to work today. And I wear a hat at work, so <laughs> I can cover up any, any mistakes that I do or any colors or anything that I don't like. Now, I'm not sure if this has concealer or anything in it, but it's supposed to be HD, which if I was back on television, I would be finding the best HD makeup I could because now, you know, you're in HD and it shows everything. And I tell you what, the girls in wrestling now are so beautiful. I mean, they come out there. I mean, they have professional makeup artists and stuff, so they're really, really lucky. Back in my day, we didn't get all that, except when... I used to host the um, the um, shows. I would go to Super Hair 313 in Atlanta, which was such a wonderful place. Um, they did. I was their house model, and they would do my hair, my makeup, and I remember I would be. And then Renee, Renee would let me borrow clothes to wear, and it'd be so funny because it was about. A 30, 40 minute drive from up in Marietta down to the studios. And I would be driving in my rental car with my hair all done and makeup all done and like in a sweatshirt. <laughs> you know, at least nobody could see what clothes I was wearing because, you know, I was, you know, going into work, you know, and then I would walk in with my clothes and everything. But, oh my gosh, they used to, Leslie did my makeup. If you're ever in Atlanta and you can get to Super Hair 313 up in Marietta, go there and, um, Tracy did my hair and hair extensions, and I forget who did my color, but they were the most wonderful people in the world. I can't say enough about Super Hair 313. I don't even know if they're still there. I mean, gosh, this has been 30 years, <laughs> but I'm sure it was a family-owned business, so I'm sure they're there. Either their kids are running it, but they were just the most wonderful people, and they took the best photos of me ever, um, you know, because I did photo shoots for them and hair shows and everything, and I, I I got so pampered and so spoiled, and then when I moved to New York after I left WCW, and then, you know, go to get my hair done, and I'm like, how much is it for a haircut? How much is it for color? What? Because I hadn't been paying for any of it, because they, you know, we, they gave them credit in the show, and I was their house model. I would just tip them, and I'm um, like, what? And I was like, that's so expensive. But now, thank God, I got a girl, Tiffany, who does my hair. She cuts my hair and she colors it and everything keeps me looking good. And um, she's at all places, um, smart style at the Walmart on Mayhan in Tallahassee. So if you're ever in Tallahassee and you need your hair done, go to Tiffany. Because that girl will take good care of you. My other girlfriend that used to do my hair, she passed away. She used to come to my house and do it, which was, you talk about being spoiled. Let me tell you, that was being spoiled. Anyway. I like this makeup. I think the color is a little too dark for me, but it's blending in okay. It's just a little um, too what I, rosy or something. I'm not sure. It, it's you know I'm I'm more 
red, red, pe you know, reddish tone. And I stopped using the peachy um, primer. I bought a big tube of it, and then it was just feeling really thick. But I have their powder. I'll be doing a segment on that. It is really good. Um, if this was in my color, I think I could actually enjoy this. Let me put on some powder to um, set it, and then I'll give you my two cents on what I think. <laughs> I'm just using L'Oreal Hydro Perfect, which I can't find it anywhere now. So I think I have, what do I have on order? I have another powder, I think from... What's it called? Too Faced um, powder, the peachy powder. I think I have that on order because I'm about to run out of this. But this feels really nice on my skin and um, it wasn't too thick, it wasn't too thin. I think I would definitely try it, the bigger size. I'll see how it wears today at work, all day. See what kind of finish it gives me. I like the, um, I don't like matte, I don't like matte, just because when you get older, matte just kind of bleh, you out. You know, I, I like having a little dewy look. Um, but I say thumbs up on Makeup Forever HD Foundation. There you go. So, if you enjoyed what you're